Hello, hello, I'm Anna Vanilla on the channel Anna Vanilla Arts and this is what I am doing now. Look at this beautiful, beautiful project, beautiful the composition of oranges is just stunning. I love it and I loved it so much that I actually am doing it uh, right now so have a look so I am here as you can see I'm somewhere here yeah uh, on the level on the level 13th level so I am here I am here as you can see it's plenty more to do i have to do uh, possibly another fourth mm, maybe four to five times more than what i've already done this is a leaf the branch and the orange i am knitting with knotting with um basically this is a wooden dowel I found in green color which I thought will look stunning because of the color uh, of the leaves that I've chosen for my piece here and I think it looks nice it looks balanced together as um, a design and I thought I'm going to also use cotton strings which they do not stretch as you know as I've mentioned before and I do not think with acrylic yarn because I've got plenty of acrylic yarn and plenty of colors um, I can do this kind of projects easily when it's about just the cotton yarn you really need to buy a lot of yarn to just be able to find out the right matching colors to the patterns that you actually do and uh, I have spoken to the um, amazing author of this pattern of this oranges of this pattern and uh, I said that I'm going to do myself one and so now I'm doing it I've chosen the background instead of to be like a white background. I thought about um, using a um, a pale pink background here and oranges to be or neon orange and the green to be sort of like a warmer green like it's here. Maybe it's it's possibly a little bit darker on the button the green but the green uh, that I've chosen I did like it a lot so I thought I'm going to do it with pleasure and um, as you can see this green matches nicely the wooden dowel as well which is cool and um, the string that I'm going to do from a wooden dowel it will be also green because I think it will just look nicer when I finish it and I think um, once you look at this piece you definitely recognize that this is, um, this is um, an orange tree, orange branch possibly with oranges which looks nice uh, I've taken this pattern from uh, friendship book friendship oh no sorry bracelet book bracelet book I've taken this pattern from bracelet book and you can find it there if you like to and um, I love fruits and I think they look adorable especially as a wall hanging piece which this one is an example of that an example of uh, what the fruits look like and how stunning the colors and everything is so 
rich and lush I think it's um, it's a nice piece to do so I'm going to continue it for you so let me do a little bit of knotting in front of you to get a bit of real timing um, of what and how I do it so this one it's here two, two, two. orange pick up the basic color which is this background I've got plenty of seagulls here because um, I live in Cornwall so uh, we get plenty of seagulls in here and baby seagulls and mature seagulls I think they're stunning such a clever birds and they make noises and everything else like that we like to be noticeable by people they become even lazy to feed themselves and they sort of come to people come to me and are requesting food from us and I mean from me and my, my neighbors they are funny so I put sellotape here on purpose so it doesn't move so much so the edges will be straighter so now I am doing the next row which I measure which I use this one too um, here to mark it so now I do continue the other row I add more to this pattern as I'm doing it more and more obviously I'll have to put use another cellar tape um, to to keep it straight as I do the knotting so yeah Switch the color. So I'll do it like that. And then the background color goes underneath.
so here I am doing a bit more to my project here as you remember uh, it had three oranges here I've done the first one finished the first one I'm doing the second one so it's this one from the left will go here and then lower will be here and I think it turns out quite nicely I think the design itself is very success successful I do think it's very good very uh, appealing to any age to children to mature people it's just something so innocent as fruit so it's definitely uh, a subject that would cover any age uh, if you were to like it it doesn't have to be just a child liking it or um, an older human being and uh, I love it so much that uh, I cannot wait to finish it but obviously I have made so I'm halfway through possibly getting close to halfway through so it will be maybe up to here this project here up to here it's a bit more to do so I think I'll do in my August wrap up video by that time I think I'm going to finish it I mean it's 31st of August today so when I do August wrap up video I I hope I'll be able to finish it so that I can um, also add to my collection of things that I've done in August uh, I've made quite a few things I haven't finished them all but I'm doing my best finishing them uh, I'm still knitting my jumper my sweater if you like or pullover and I'll do a video about that as well which is very simple I'm knitting it and it's a very simple design very simple uh, pattern to follow so here we go I love this project and I think I am actually wanting to do next time maybe uh, a couple of strawberries would, would look nice so um, I will try and do something like strawberries next time hopefully but for now I'm doing oranges um, citrusy fruits maybe these ones are not just oranges they may maybe uh, I don't know maybe mandarins or something like that or grape grapefruits possibly possibly so I am somewhere here so I'm here here so as you can see I'm nearly halfway through this project so wish me luck in continuing um, I think the background looks just fine being a pale uh, pale pink I think it looks stunning I think it looks um, uh, close to any colors on here it's a little bit like contrasting and playing with the color is quite nice um, I would say you cannot go wrong with this pattern this pattern is definitely something um, special it's easy uh, and possibly reasonably quick to do but why not to actually do it with a lot of love and patience 
Oh yeah. I've put tape to stop it from moving as well. Here I am on the 33rd level here. Um, I got to this point where I start doing the last, uh, the third uh, of the fruit, the oranges. As you can see, is a trio composition of three, three things, trio, and uh, I think it looks lovely. I absolutely adore it. I mean, if if I was to do the the last orange here, would be just, I think, fantastic. I actually think that this um, wall hanging reminds me a bit of Chinese art or maybe Japanese art a little bit of how they do nicely with things with blooms with leaves uh, the way they paint things somehow this composition of fruits reminds me of that just a tiny bit um, I think uh, oranges look just fine the uh, leaves look contrasting and well balanced in this picture and i think in the real life when you knot this actually looks far more enhancing far better than the original uh, pattern uh, as you can see it just comes back to life it's you can almost taste these oranges how strong colors um, are popping and it just makes you want to have an orange in your hand and just eat it that's how juicy and beautiful it is and i think the background with the pink pale pink color um I think suits very well this two other colors like orange and green uh, I think you would agree with me but I like this pattern so much so that I possibly will do another set of oranges um, uh, another set of um, wall hanging uh, but with different background um, possibly a different color combination and possibly i'll i'll sell it on etsy and if you like it you can buy it and um, i've got an account on etsy i just start selling a couple of things there um, but um, you can uh, visit my etsy account when you feel like it and you may find certain things that i sell that you might like to have at home and decorate your home with and think of me and subscribe to my channel whilst looking at the things that I've made so thank you very much for subscribing and for everything I truly appreciate your love and care and attention so I would say um, this one um, I'll you I'll do this video of how I've uh, what I've done this August this month um, I'll do a video of um, uh, the fact that I've I've made this particular uh, wall hanging uh, this August and um, then possibly later I may put on at Yetzi, so um, st stay tuned. And uh, I think I, I do get better with doing alphas. As you can see, the stretches are far more straighter than anything else I've been doing. I also post my pictures on bracelet book, and um, you can see what I do and fresh items I put on there um, you can also 
welcome yourself and do a pattern like this it will just um, give you a lot of pleasure by doing so because it's such a creative creative um, craft that uh, you can just enjoy every single moment by doing every single knot so I've made the whole pattern I finished it um, so to remind you this is what the pattern looked like as a smaller version as a print of the pattern and the question is is acrylic yarn good for knotting for doing bracelet knots or wall hanging knots or alpha knots whatever you may call I think is good as you can see this is the actual result uh, this is acrylic yarn this is acrylic yarn everything is acrylic yarn and uh, the, only the base strings the base strings are actually cotton and I've used cotton for packaging uh, which you can buy in Poundland here in the UK you can buy possibly dollar store in America if you are in America um, you can buy in any stores is a packaging type um, yarn uh, cotton yarn for packaging uh, at the post office maybe you can find this yarn as well because it doesn't stretch so because it doesn't stretch it's good to be used as a base strings but then on the top of it you make knots with acrylic yarn like this one in in particular like this is an example all these three colors are acrylic yarns and um, i think it turned out pretty well as you can see the the edges are pretty good quite straight and uh, as you know acrylic yarn does a, uh, it stretches quite a lot um, but when you do not with it because the base strings are actually cotton threads um, it stops the acrylic yarn from stretching therefore you can do quite even knotting all the way through the pattern so i would suggest that yes you should try you should use acrylic yarn because it's cheaper you get a lot for your money and you can do a lot of wall hangings and bracelets with acrylic yarn don't be afraid to use it and you will economize a lot with it and you can do whatever you like any pattern you like with acrylic yarn without any fear this is the, the back of the piece i have hidden a couple of them which were at the edges so that they will not pop through and as you can see i finished the ends nicely I have made a plaiting, a ponytail here, I braided this um, hanger, this string and I've chosen for it to be the same color as the leaves and the same color as the wooden dowel here and it seems to have worked. Um, so thank you very much to the person that created this pattern. Uh, you can find it on bracelet book um, website there are a lot of versions of this particular patterns and I think it's a very successful composition to do for 
wall hanging for uh, any other projects like this even for stitching will be a great pattern that you can do so I would like now to finalize this um, video and to thank you very much for your subscriptions um, thank you for subscribing thank you for loving my videos for comments and um, thank you for your support and love and I'm sending back to you lots of love and care from me so please subscribe and let's have fun together in the next video bye bye